to get out of that place, just forget everything. Just get a new life. Pretend it hadn't happened. Thought you could do that then. I was young. When my husband beat my daughter up, not one of you spoke. Not a word. You just pretend that it never happened. And me. I kept quiet, just like the rest of you. But I can't. I can't carry on. I can't bury this like the rest of you because it's so shameful, so wrong. And it's this silence, our silence, that's tearing me apart. So, James has found a place. I think so, Dad. Well, Merry Christmas, James. Enjoy your spam sandwiches or whatever you like. Mom. Edna, love. Edna? Perhaps none of us knew how to live with the truth. All I knew was I had to find my own way forward. I'm sure Dad expected me to come crawling back for the money. But I didn't want his help. But I knew it all. My first job. Where the hell have you been? I got caught up. Oh, you got caught up. Well, answer me this, Mr. Freeman Jr. How are you going to be a photographer if you're not bloody there to take the shot? Opinion. Not straight. You can't see the subject's face. Oh, nice tree. Very arty. Can't print it. You'll learn. I'm going to look for a room after work. What? I can't cramp your space up any longer. Well, you don't have to rush into it. I'm in an angel, Zoe. But your love life's suffered enough.
Come for a drink afterwards. Celebrate. Losing your virginity. Alice, it's all ahead of you. You can do anything you like. She'll get in no trouble. Mm -hmm. Looks great, this, Laura. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Fantastic turkey. Just like Edna. Yeah. She would have been proud. <clears throat> Christmas. Can't beat it. Mm. I want more. You mean I'd like some more, please? Right. Well? I'd like you to give me some more. Dear Alice, I trust you're having a happy Christmas at home with your family. I expect your festivities are not quite as energetic as the ones here on campus. Despite the prospect of finals, I'm starting to feel a little more on top of things. Though I shall have to study much harder to master the local tradition of drinking and throwing up in public places. Respectfully yours, Harry Ganatra. Oh, <laughs> 
fucking town get under it. That's because everybody's too scared to let go. They're all a bunch of suffocating edge trimmers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to stay here forever, darling. Where do you want to go? Anywhere. Everywhere. Like, just <sighs> lucky bugger. Great shot, though. Catching that kid in midair. <clears throat> Complete fluke. Ah, James. Whatever his faults, he's always in the right place at the right time. From Page. Really? Yeah. It's not the best photo you took last night, though. What do you mean? Well, this one here. Less flashy, more you. Is she really going out with him? I just want you. Piss off. Don't do this. I know what. James, darling, you had me. For a while. Don't hang on. So what happened to her? She went to South America. All the best ones do. There'll be plenty more. You go. Harry, this is some houses. Some very younger people in here. Yeah. Do us a favor of it. Post this. There's loads of gorgeous women in there. They're not only after your samosas, they're after your lamb kebab as well. <laughs> sure, I'm a vegetarian, aren't I? Oh, man, you're, you're a virgin, man. Just so post the card there, babe. Alice Freeman. Dream girl. She better be worth all this. Go. Oh. Dear Alice, I've decided to come back to town. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm starting to get ideas, make plans for the future. Respectfully yours, Harry Ganatra.
you off. Don't get dragged into any secret sex societies. I hear that's what happens over there. <laughs> Don't worry. Won't leave me room. Just pop out once a week to get some food. You're gonna cook for yourself. I suppose I'll have to. Sounds just as dangerous. Aren't you excited? I suppose I should be. It's the best university... In the world, I know. Dad keeps on telling me, you've got it all ahead of you. So on and so on. You'll be OK. What about you? Me? I've got lots that I want to do. Good. I think it's time we were off. No, Alice. Bye. Dear Alice, my job at Baisley Properties is going well. I don't intend to stay for much longer, but I'm gaining valuable experience of the kind of people in this line of work. More and more I realise that what the market really needs is a fresh perspective. Respectfully yours, Harry Ganatra. It's a contract. Yes, I can see that. I've outlined specific working hours. Holidays. Did you draw this up? I went to a solicitor's in town. You've been busy? I've thought a lot about it. Yes, indeed. There's an appendix about me using the kitchen for my own catering business. I saw it. Well, cooking for everybody here would always be a priority. Everybody here? I think it's... It's very professional, Laura. And, um... I'm completely for it. All of it. Rosemary Davis reading the sixth instalment of Down the Rabbit Hole by Winifred Lear. There'll be another episode in tomorrow's Woman's Hour, and here's news of something else in tomorrow's programme. You may know that we're following the progress on Woman's Hour of a young first-time university student called Neil Stammers. In early October, we talked to Neil as he was about to start at Southampton. Want me to try it? No, it's not ready yet. Don't mind? Now we've had an opportunity to find out exactly there's some bread in the pantry if you're hungry. I'm um, moving out. Moving into town. Where? Staying above the garage. I don't want you living like a tramp because you're too proud to ask for help. It'll be fine. It doesn't look good on me. I remember that in the town square. What? When I'm supping mess with the rest of the old boys. I mean it, Robert. You could leave some stuff here if you want. Thought you'd be glad to see back of us. See you, Dad.
I'm home. Everybody. Dear Alice, I've bought my first house. It needs a little bit of decoration, but it has great potential. I brought you some food. Thank you. This is how you live? It's temporary, Ma. Why don't you come home? Harry. I can't. Of course you can. You're breaking your father's heart. Come home later, and we'll forget about everything. I'm sorry, Ma. When did you become so hard inside? trust and confidence that the British people have placed in me and the things in which I believe. And I would just like to remember some words of St. Francis of Assisi, which I think are really just particularly apt at the moment. Where there is discord, may we bring harmony. Where there is error, may we bring truth. Where there is doubt, may we bring faith. And where there is... I'm not going to live here. May we bring hope. What? And to all the British people... I put it on the market today. But well, you finished it today. Now that the election is over... I put an offer in for another house. It's larger. And the country I'm going to convert her into flats. Where are you going to find the time? Finally, yeah. Where are you going to find the time? The oh, I quit my job today. Jesus, you're really going for this? I've got to. Got a long way to go. Well, you can do this all on your own. No, for the moment. What about your family? They're doing their own thing, I'm doing mine. Why aren't you being a bit pig-headed? No more than you. What does that mean? Well, have you been to the house lately? You know I haven't. Do you write to my sister? And confidence that the British people have placed yeah. in me and the things in which I believe. And is she part of your grand clan? Maybe. <laughs> Alice, forgive me for not writing to you for a while. I promise I haven't forgotten you. 
I expect you're busy studying as usual, and I've been busy back here too. As you can gather, setting out on my own has proven to be a great adventure. I sold my first house, and now I have two more. They also need a bit of decoration, but I'm beginning to get the hang of that now. Everything is going very well for me, and all my plans are starting to take shape. I hope you'll decide to come back here when you finish your degree. It would be great to see you again. Respectfully yours, Harry Ganatra. <laughs> Introduce yourself. She's out of my league. First division. All right. What does that make you then? Well, to her. All right. Just some snotty nosed kid. <laughs> Somewhere near the bottom of the third. Yeah, struggling to avoid relegation. <laughs> oh well. There's always the FA Cup. Your tongue's hanging out. space for another commitment in my life. I've already got those two in there. So we see each other at night when they've gone to bed and you leave in the morning before they get up. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Ah, Laura, that was absolutely wonderful. Fantastic. Really out of this world. Could we borrow her? Not a chance. You have to negotiate through Freeman PLC. Simon, stop being so pompous. Exactly. Just protecting our resources. <laughs> if you want me to cater for you, phone me tomorrow and we'll discuss it. Mm. Oh, there you are. Now, Stephen, your German bankers. I understand they can be very generous. Well, come on, tell me about them. How generous can they be? <laughs> Dear Harry, I would like it very much if we could meet. You're pulling my leg. No, I start next week. You've got a degree from Oxford, Alice. I know, but it's what I want to do. So tell me, what kind of thinking went into this? No, let me guess. You wake up, bing, bright idea. I'll go home and uh, work at the local comp. Dad. Shut up! 
Is this what it amounts to? Hmm? Of all my children, I thought you were going to do something remarkable. Obviously, I was wrong. When the market's right, I hope to set up a kind of subsidiary company that deals with the insurance side of things. It, it's kind of like a, a dual but complementary monetary policy. So then, hopefully, in the future, we'd set... Harry. Yeah? You should take a breath. I'm, I'm talking too much, aren't I? No, I just don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't recognize you at first. You look different. From what? From when you were younger. People usually do, don't they? Sorry, that was uh, that, 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 that was a stupid thing to say. Thank you. You're disappointed. No, no, oh God, no. Are you gonna be staying in town? Got no other plans. Good. What's good? Well, that you haven't got any plans. No, I mean, I mean that you're staying. Is your mother very beautiful? Mother? Uh, yes, I suppose she is. That makes sense. I guess my dad walked straight into her life. Both fell head over heels in love. Knew they had to be together from then on. Right. Well, that's how I always imagined it. <laughs> what about yours? Well, my dad, his three brothers and his parents, they went to my mum's house. And my dad was so shy, he only looked at her once. And when they got home, they asked him if he wanted to marry her. And he said yes. And that was that. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Alice. Yes. Do you want to carry on? I just said, yes. Gata rahe Mera dil How long have you had that suit? About nine years. Doesn't do anything for you. 
Thank you. Doesn't need to, it's my work suit. Right. Why don't you go straight in there from here then? Well, I'll get some breakfast. Cafe opposite the offices, uh, read the papers. And what do you eat for breakfast? Toast and jam. Nothing else? Three rounds of toast and jam. <laughs> and uh, a cup of coffee? Tea. Don't like coffee in the mornings. So, uh, better go? Yeah. If you can fall in love with someone's smile. If you can share someone's pain, if you can feel love for another in your heart. That's the... what love is all about. Yeah. Teach me again. <laughs> okay. Kissy key, mascara. Too quick. Kissy key. Oh, come on, give up. No. We're still on the first line. Kissy. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> किसी की मुस्कुराहटों पे हो निसार किसी का दर्द मिल सके तो ले उधार किसी के वास्ते हो तेरे दिल में प्यार जीना इसी का नाम है So you've already said yes have you I think you're making a mistake a big one. Rushing headlong into something I'm a clue about. I know what I'm doing. You're behaving like a teenager. That's not fair. So you've considered your differences, have you? Because it's all rosy when you're in love. But what happens five years down the line? Hmm? Mr. Freeman, we've talked about the future. What we want from this. You're an intelligent man. Surely you can see the difficulties. Hmm? We're ready to face them. Together. What do you know about each other? Hmm? I mean, what do you know about Harry? He's been writing to me for ten years. What? I know him better than anyone else. Look, Dad, maybe you'll always see me as a fool, someone who's got no clue about the world, but I'm going to do this, whatever you say. You're right. Yeah. Will you um, do me a small favour? What? Make it the best reception in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> I'm your brother. Because it would be very lonely not to have a couple of you there. Baba won't come. I know. OK, I'll talk tomorrow. Thank you.
careful, James. Be careful, James. Come on, be careful, James. You're not like the others. You're like me. James. Come on. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. Let's go. Let's go. Was well, so he just turned up? Oh, this is bollocks, Sonia. Look, I told you it's got to be like this right from the start. What, me sneaking around? Never seeing each other in the day and never talking? Yeah. I want more, Sonia. So do you. I would like to uh, propose another toast, yes, <laughs> to the newlyweds, to Harry and my lovely Alice. Harry, 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 Alice. Harry, Alice. <laughs> Harry, Alice. <laughs> like the dress. No, you don't. Do you think they've done it yet? Done what? I wonder what colour their children will be. Twisted. What else do you like about me? Coming. <laughs> 